my god let me tell you since I do have a new backdrop. In today's video, as you can see in the title, we are going to do high school makeup versus now makeup. And this is something that I've been wanting to do and now I actually went on YouTube and I was like, oh, so this is actually an idea. So I want to go ahead and show you guys how I used to do my makeup in high school and how I did now. So if this is something that you're interested in, keep on watching and make sure to hit the thumbs up so that way i know that you like this video and subscribe to my channel and while you're at it turn on your post notifications to be notified the next time that i post a video let's get on to the video okay so i think that this side is gonna be how i do it now and this side is my high school side so let's do it like that let's get into it so i did try to find the products that i did use in high school and i couldn't find them besides the mascara which i'll show you that later uh, but I'm basically going to use the same products that I have and I'll probably put in the screen if I can figure out how to do that are the products that I used to use. So I think after high school I started using the Age Rewind. I think I used to use like the Maybelline or whatever mas whatever concealer I could find that was my shade uh, to hide these super dark circles guys. I've had this since like I can't remember and it's hereditary so no matter what products I use it's just not going away. Not going away. Let me know if this lighting is too bright or if you guys like this type of lighting. I'm playing with the lighting. I do have a new ring light. And I also have a light right in back of the camera. So let me know if you guys like this light. Or if I should change it. So I used to do a triangle. Like that. And now to this day, I still don't like using foundation unless I really have to. But it's not something that I gravitate to. And then now I just do a little bit here. A little bit here don't know what that's about but um i used to do around my nose because i'd always get red there and then any blemishes or any like um birthmarks that i wanted to cover up and yeah so i used to use a beauty blender i don't have beauty blenders anymore i have uh like these sponges so i'm gonna use that this is me my high school <laughs> if i haven't said that already Okay, so we're gonna go in with the beauty sponge. And I do have a mirror over here. So if you guys see me looking over here, or if you guys see me looking over here, I have like a big TV monitor that I can see myself because my viewfinder is not uh, working since I plugged it into the TV. So I can see if I'm in focus. And of course, I'm gonna do half of my face with this, and the other half of my face, you'll see what I'm gonna do with that. Here. And now with this side. I'm going to use the Morphe M173. This is a concealer brush. I'm just going to pat it in. Of course, do this. That way it's not so veiny. Just like that. Go on the lip. Just like that. And I use the same exact concealer because I have been using this, like I said, for years. And... Hey, it's worked for me. I have tried like shape tape that it was like such a huge hype about it. It honestly makes my under eyes crease so bad. And it's just the regular shape tape. I kid you not. Let me still have it. It is the shape tape concealer, the double duty beauty. Not for me. But I normally use the age rewind and then I put a tiny bit of whatever other concealer I feel like using at the time. And yeah. Just pop it into the under bag right here and just blend it out. Now, I used to use the CoverGirl. It was like a green compact and it was powder. And I would use that and I would put it all over my face. And I couldn't find that one. Like no matter what, that one obviously has been outdated and I think they revamped it. 
um, but I have not gotten my hands on it. And it's not green anymore. I think I last saw that it was like a tealish color. Um, and when I Googled to see if it was like the same thing, it's basically the same thing, but just updated formula if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to go ahead and use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a powder. So I will just go in. And then once I started using contacts in middle school, my mom took me to Walgreens. I think it was Walgreens or maybe Walmart. I don't remember what it was, but regardless of the fact. And she helped me pick out a concealer, helped me pick out powder foundation or just like a powder. Um, didn't even know if it was a foundation or not. I obviously was little and I didn't know about that life. Anyway, so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair Claire on this side. And I'm going to set everywhere that I put the concealer. For bronzer. My mom had, I think it was Revlon. And it was like a golden color. And I would use it all over my face. And I used the little tiny brush that it came with. And don't have that. My mom doesn't have it anymore. Uh, so the only bronzer that I have on hand is my Hoola Benefit bronzer. I don't know what color this is, but it's just the mini one. We're going to go in with this side first. By the way, I used to do this, which I can't even do it that much because I, I have braces now. But definitely did that. And definitely this is too much, but don't worry. I'll go over it. I'll go over this and just pat it. So it's not so harsh. You see how it starts I'm making it so harsh? I don't know if with the light, if you guys can see that it's like a lot that I have on. I'm going to zoom you guys in. I hope that's better, guys. I zoomed you guys in. But yeah, so I'm just patting over all of it. So that way it's not so harsh. Now, on this side, I put bronzer everywhere. And this part, I'm going to tap it on my, on my hand because I don't want a lot to come off because it was like a beautiful bronzy color like it wasn't dark like how this hula bronzer is on me it was like a just a perfect shade and i would go here and i'll go mm -hmm. and you see like it's hardly anything because it was it was just like that like that revlon one it was so perfect it was buildable and i literally put it everywhere like everywhere like i wanted me like i wanted myself to be bronze like look at see how i'm putting it everywhere like this i forgot to bronze my nose because i do that oh yeah i contour my nose And I do under here. This gives you like a little pouty look. You see? Tap it out. That's better. Before, I did not know that there was such thing called spoolies. And what spoolies are for. Like, I was just a little girl. Naive. Didn't know a lot about makeup. But I loved makeup. And I used to get a toothbrush. A toothbrush. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people use a toothbrush. So don't come at me thinking, saying I'm nasty. Blah, blah, blah. No. So pretend this is a toothbrush. Because I don't have an extra toothbrush to use. And I wouldn't use my own toothbrush. I would use a spare toothbrush. And then this side. And I, I always liked thick brows. Like I, unless like the salon baby messed up my eyebrows, I've always had thick brows. So now what I do, I have this, this is e.l.f. in light brown. You can use this as a, let me show you guys. Looks like this. You guys can use this as an eyeliner as well as a eyebrow pomade. So what I do is I just, you know, fill it in just a little bit. Like I don't like super dark brows. 
So I just fill it in a little bit and then a little bit here. And I just flick it up very gently, just a flick. And I rub it out. And perfect. And for this side, that's all I did. That's all I did. Didn't do anything crazy. Um, I also go in with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel in clear. Oh, looks like this. And I just go over what I just did. Just so they can stay in place. Remember, I used to still do browns in high school. The like guy was not... I just like neutrals. I've always liked neutrals. I've never... Besides in middle school, when I would like go out for like holidays and stuff like that, I would do the black with the silver. But in high school, it was all neutrals. And I still have not changed. I'm still a neutrals girl. So I'm going to do the same eye for each one because my technique hasn't really changed. It's still neutrals no matter what. You know what? It did change because before, I did not used to use like a, a crease color, you know, so everything can bend smoothly. No, I would just do the outer corner and then I would do the inside. So... Things have changed. I'm gonna go in with this Nudie Patootie palette from Laura Lee. I'm gonna use Stringing for the crease. And then we're gonna go with Reveal and Butt Naked corner. Because I used to, and I still do, like putting the outer corner a little dark. And then the inside being a shimmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But on this side, I'm not gonna do streaking because I didn't do that for in high school. Like, didn't use no transition color in the crease. So there's that and then I'm gonna go in with reveal and it's gonna be a little bit lower than the crease in the corner the outer corner and a little bit lower than the crease reveal more because i do want the sides to definitely match now we're gonna do a little bit of butt naked which is a darker brown color and just going with this eye first i would always tap it at the ends and i still do so I'm just tap the outer corner and i always just do like a triangle effect which i still do like that and now we're gonna go in to the other side the same but naked color and pat it I think that's that's good enough for me um but we are gonna go in with let me see if i can find a good color we're gonna go in with the tati beauty volume one palette and we're gonna go in with aura and it's the metallic aura. I'm going to go into that one right there. And I always used my ring finger to put the eyeshadows on. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That's what I did. And I used to use brown eyeliner. My brown eyeliner that I like using, where did I put it? Let me tell you. It has no, like, I can't even use it. I don't even have a sharpener to use it. So we're going to go with black. Just for reference, I always went with brown. And I would only go into, like, I would do the up, like, the, the upper island and my lower island. But I, only, I would only go halfway. And I still do that. Like how my eye looks when it's completely full of eyeliner. Don't like that look. So I'm going to use this mirror down here so i can be up close and personal with my eyes <laughs> so i will go ahead and just do that now so just like that nowadays i really don't use eyeliner and if i do Put eyeliner, it's white. One that I use is the Extreme Lasting Essence Waterproof Eye Pencil in Silky Nude. My bad, so I use nude, not white, nude. 
and I only put it in my lower lash line. Can you see how like this one like opens up my eye more than this one? You know? So I tight line the upper eyelid and I put the white on the bottom. It's my eyes much bigger and I really like that. So I also like to do the bottom of my eyes. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill, the JH43. And so I like to go a little bit underneath my um, waterline. And I typically go with the same exact colors that I did up on the top. Besides the shimmer. I don't do the shimmer. We're just going to go underneath. You see how that looks? It looks so pretty. I love it. Now we're gonna go into highlight. The one that I'm currently using is the Jaclyn Hill Iced Highlight Illuminator. I think that's what it says. It looks like this. I'm using the brush from the Laura Lee Los Angeles and L15. Go so within our high points where the camera will hit if you go up a flash. So up here, just like that. My ring finger, my nose. that all right guys so the setting spray that i use that i've been using since i learned about setting sprays is the morphe continuous setting mist just like that i even love the smell of it times that i've had mascara on and then i put the setting spray oh girl no so i have been using this mark eyelash curler since probably middle school well i had an older one that i used since middle school and then when my sister started avon when like probably 2012 2013 i got a new one which is this one and then i just switch out the little bands that go inside of it because they were pink and mine are now black i like my eyelashes to like the point where it's hitting the top of my eyelids does that make sense like where i put my where i put my eyeshadow i like that this is the mascara I used to use in high school. This one and also my senior year. Like I would use this like in middle school and the 9th, 10th, and 11th grade. And then my senior year, I started using the telescopic carbon black L'Oreal one. Looks like this. Mine is all like banged up or whatever. But both of these are great. I really love this one more than this one. And this one I just started using again. I don't even know why I ever left. Oh my god. So great. So great. And how I like to do my mascara is I go all the way from the lash line and I curl up. Just like that. So look at that. Sign. what do you guys think this mascara is the bomb.com the bomb.com they haven't even changed their packaging like it's literally the same exact packaging what okay now the last thing that I'm going to do is lip gloss. I've always been a lip gloss girl unless it's like a special occasion like my wedding where I put lipstick on. But if it's lipstick or whatever, I'm always going to choose lip gloss. And this one is the Juvia's Place. What is this? It's glass. So what it looks like. And just apply. And there you guys have it. My now makeup. That's what it looks like. And this is my high school side. Hey guys, that is it. 
if you guys like this video make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye